What's going on, Graphzilla sports fans? We have been out and about and a little bit of everywhere, too. We've been doing some graphing and some games in Detroit, as you've been following along. Also checked out Wrigley Field, so I'm going to share with you guys um, some autographs that I was able to get in person there. Also, stay tuned after the autograph portion because we are going to show the overall stadium and what we were uh, able to experience and kind of explore while we were there at Wrigley Field. Historic ballpark, one of my absolute favorites. So come along with us and let's check it out. All right, so we were able to actually snag three autographed baseballs against the Pittsburgh Pirates. The Cubbies were uh, facing the Pirates on the 21st, which is when we were there, uh, able to snag three autographed balls. So the first one here is Pirates pitcher, Dwayne Underwood Jr. So that was a pretty cool ad. All right, next sign baseball, also from the Pittsburgh Pirates and a pitcher is Dylan Peters. So pretty cool ad uh, for both of these guys as well. And my first time at Wrigley and kind of graphing there. So was just really fortunate enough to uh, get some access and was able to get a couple of players. I would say it's not as easy, at least for me, not being from Chicago and knowing the stadium inside and out. So I felt it was a little bit more challenging to get signatures, but I was just super excited to be in the right place at the right time moving around and just kind of understanding, you know, where players were gravitating towards and still able to snag a couple of signed baseballs. All right, and last but not least, and probably my favorite success from this trip, and my wife, Stephanie, um, was actually able to get this for me. This is none other than Cubs catcher, Wilson Contreras. So a really big name, obviously an MLB, very talented uh, ball player and an all-star. Um, and was just really excited to kind of get him. A very uh, tough signature to get as well. He was only signing for a couple of different folks and kind of picky, even kind of uh, told another grapher that we saw out there that you need to retire, you need to stop doing this. So <laughs> I'm actually shocked that he stopped and signed for Steph. So that was pretty cool for her to get him uh, on this baseball. But you know, you just never know sometimes how these guys, what kind of moods they're in, um, what they're gonna say. So it just kind of makes part of the hunt that much more interesting. But all in all, had a great day. Um, was able to see, you know, a game at Wrigley, which was awesome. The rather cool thing that I'll mention is the guy that threw out the first pitch is none other than uh, Thomas Ian Nicholas, who is Henry Rowan Gardner from Rookie of the Year for those that have watched that baseball movie growing up. Um, you know, he was actually doing the first pitch and saying the seventh inning stretch, which was pretty cool. He's got a pretty cool musical career going on, going on now as well. So Thomas, Ian Nicholas uh, with the first pitch and take me out to the ball game, Harry Carey style as well. Uh, but it was awesome. Awesome time at Wrigley. Cubbies lose this one, unfortunately. Uh, but it was able to score three autographs, have some great first base seats in uh, Wrigley, and experience my first game there ever. So an awesome day, an awesome success. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and stay tuned here to get a nice tour of Wrigley. I think you're really gonna like what you see. Guys, here with Graffzilla Sports in downtown Chicago. Gonna check out the Chicago Cubs versus the Pittsburgh Pirates. So why don't you tag along with us? Let's check out everything Wrigley has to offer.
right here. Say 